Welcome back everybody to CBD Triathlete. Do you want to know what to eat or even what sessions to do to be able to run a faster 5k? Well, welcome back to another episode with Mark Scott where we bring you five tips on how to run a faster 5k. Let's roll the intro. So tonight uh, I've got a session leading up to a race this weekend. Um, coming up I've got the podium 5k on Saturday. So this tonight is Tuesday. It's going to be my last hard session before the race. Um, so it's going to comprise of 10 hills of around 30 seconds and then jog over to the track and then I'll finish with 10 200s on there in about 28, 29. See how I'm feeling when after the hill set and um, yeah, that, they'll be off um, 200 job recovery, so that's what we're going to do tonight. So uh, a good session which I usually find would be to do K reps, obviously 5K is the race distance at which I'm targeting, but it's good to go over distance, so if you do 6 by a K or 7 by a K, we want to actually start at race pace and then hopefully get a little faster with typically 90, to, 90 seconds to 2 minutes recovery. So it's just, we're hitting race pace, we're going over distance, so on race day you should feel comfortable doing doing that given pace for 5k. That's the plan. Yeah, so a good go-to session which I'd, I'd usually do on a track. Um, I'd start with a mile um, at race pace, whatever your goal pace is, start at that pace and do a mile. And then take a good three minutes rest, a lap jog if that's what you need, or just standing around keeping just keeping warm, walking around. So start with a mile, then come with a 1200, 800 after that, all the way down to 400, and then the last rep would be a mile. So mile, 12, eight, four, and then a mile. Um, starting at race pace, knocking a couple of seconds off per 400 as we drop down. Um, and then you're pretty much wanting to run your second mile faster than the first mile you start out with. So it's all race pace or faster, three minutes rest in between, and then yeah, if you knock, knock that one out of the park, then you'll be you'll be ready for a good 5k. So typically before a session, um, usually I do session in the morning. Um, so I usually have a bagel or a couple of slices of toast, smash some banana on there, a bit of honey. So that's my go-to. Then on the drive, I'll typically have a Morton drink, a uh, Morton 320 and then a little Nutri-Grain bar as well. Um, that's my go-to on the morning. Um, and try, I try to keep things similar if I am going in the evening, just so your body is used to it. Um, so before tonight, I had a Morton drink, had a Nutri-Grain bar, um, had standard lunch, just sandwich, crisps, banana, that sort of thing. So yeah, <laughs> no stomach troubles on the session, so all good. Yeah, so for recovery, always after a session, get a protein shake in. So this is vanilla protein with milk. Uh, good for calcium, uh, keep the bones healthy. So that's what I go to. Make sure I get this down, plenty of water, hydration tablets, and um, then, yeah, just any snacks what you get your hands on, really. Meals, try and get a good balance of carbs, and obviously protein is a big component as well. So obviously protein in here, but I will have chicken or some sort of red meat for dinner. Um, I think it's pasta tonight, so that's <laughs> a good, good meal for after this session. Um, yeah, and obviously get the greens in as well. Yeah, so typically it's always the same. Um, start with a three mile warm up, uh, just get the heart rate going, uh, get the muscles loose and warm. Um, I'll then finish that and start with some static stretching. Um, like an elastic band, just get the muscles a bit longer, a bit looser. Um, static stretch all of the muscles, um, including the arms, so go the whole way down the, down the body. Uh, and then I'll do dynamic stuff after that. Um, few a skips heel kicks uh, do the typical hamstring reach um, and then yeah loosen off the hips with a few uh, trunk circles and things like that so that's pretty much it 
it should, your heart rate should be nice and elevated before you start. That's the plan. Keep the heart rate up. Uh, the last thing I will do before, if it's a track race or even even a session like like tonight, I will do a, a couple of hard strides like pickups um, before the reps themselves start. So my strength training um, often incorporates of a full body workout pretty much um, and these are usually done after I run so I am already warm, don't have to do any kind of crazy warm up routine before I start so I will do a like a, often a T-spine routine, get the back loose and moving um, and then I'll go into things like a lot of it will be there's weight added, um, but a lot of it is body weight to start with, so I'll do body weight exercises. Um, uh, get the feet and the calves really loose, that's a kind of a key component for me. Um, and then in terms of heavy lifting, we're trying to generate some power because you need that for the 5k. Um, sprinting requires, say it's a sprint, it feels like a long sprint in a 5k. Um, so you need some power for that, especially if you've got a sprint finish or you're, yeah, you're matching up with someone in that home straight. So, um, you can do some heavy RDLs, you can do back squat or hex bar squat, it's the typically one, typical one I would use. Um, and then for power, explosiveness, you want to do kind of single leg explosiveness stuff, so um, box jumps, things of that kind of nature where you really are bounding and getting off the ground uh, as quick as possible. Faster recovery equals better performance. CBD Triathlon. Train harder, recover faster.